99.7 KFRC, the Bay Area's classic hits with Cami and Dean. That is Boston 741. CSI fans are very excited to have on the line right now Paul Guilfoyle, also, of course, known as Jim Brass on CSI. Hi. Yes. Good morning. Welcome to KFRC. Good morning. How are things up in San Francisco? Arguably one of, one of the best, uh, most beautiful cities in the world. Very good, Captain Brass. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm sure you're all wearing flowers in your hair. Well, wait a minute. That's my generation. I think. Wait, we're having a gigantic <laughs> love-in after the show. Oh, fantastic. I'll be there. Now, you know, when will there be a CSI San Francisco? You would think there'd be one, right? right? Well, let's just start one. Because you know what? We have a lot of weird, unsolved, tough crimes here in the Bay Area. Come on. Well, let's send Gil Grissom up there and get that in brass, and we'll get that solved. You could do CSI East Palo Alto. <laughs> <laughs> would it all fit on a marquee? When you first got into this show, I mean, did you have any idea how huge of a sensation this would be? Well, if I said yes, I mean, I'd be prescient. I mean, I, I read the I mean, I my first TV show, so I looked at it and I thought, boy, this has a lot of good filmic elements, you know, things from like Kurosawa, like flashbacks and from macro photography from like the Three Kings, and it, had, it made like a good salad out of a salad bar that was existing, and then we met all the actors where everyone was very copacetic, works well together, and then I thought, wow, this might have a shot. Cammy and Dean with Paul Guilfoyle. Can you pull off the perfect crime now? Have you studied enough <laughs> CSI scripts and stuff. Can you get around CSI, or or is that impossible? Well, I'd first start out by wearing a hazmat suit if you're going to do any cr- you know crime, <laughs> okay. so you don't leave anything behind. Okay. You know, that would be the first thing to do. The second thing, no, I think, uh, you know, I think with these guys, with Brass and Grissom and everybody working together so well, I don't know. I don't think you can pull off a crime with these guys. Maybe you could on Miami and New York. On the other <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Not the original. But no. really, in today's technology, it's almost impossible now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it appears to be, but, I mean, you know, this is the sort of uh, the dilemma between criminals and, and people trying to find them, is that, you know, people will come up with, it's like a kind of a game in some way, but I imagine. But, I mean, we're hoping that our show shows that there's a resolve at the end of each uh, episode where, you know, people are brought to justice, which means that, you know, hardworking professionals take care of their business. And, you know, so hopefully it, it, it diminishes crime. That's our goal. So we, we've been reading stories about now with high definition television. Some of these shows that involve crimes uh, are having a hard time making blood look realistic. That it, The old blood that they used to use now with HDTV, it looks obviously fake. We use real blood. Good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, what you, I mean, let's not ask for everybody to really bleed. I mean, that's a little bit outside the, the realm of my contract. Well, what can we look Excellent. forward to in the big season finale? Well, I'm going to be wheeled. Hopefully, I'm wheeled onto the set of ER, and uh, <laughs> those guys can uh, can patch me up. I'm hoping, and uh, and and I'm sure there's a couple of other little surprises in there for everybody. It's all a dream. It, yeah, yeah, it's just a dream sequence. It never really happened. I was really on a beach in Hawaii. There you go. <laughs> all right, Paul Guilfoyle, Jim. Brass from CSI. We look forward to tonight's thrilling finale and next season, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. I'll talk to him. Definitely. No relation, by the way, to Gavin Newsom's former wife, Kimberly Guilfoyle. No. Wow, that's amazing because it doesn't seem like a very common name. <laughs> a lot of Guilfoyles around. A lot of Guilfoyles right. around. Okay, 745 at KFRC. That's traffic time. Mark Nieto, how's it going? It's a very typical drive out there.